Hey, what's up guys? I'm doing a skull sharp Paleozoic build. Um, there's some stuff I need to explain. Um, so, well, with this deck from plus what I did last night, so. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, I play Magic the Gathering, and I also play, like, Marn and Commander. Um, which I did Commander last night. Uh, which is really, really quite fun, so. Um, this is one of the cards that I use for my commander, and, uh, so basically what it does is that when it attacks, your opponent can only block as one creature, and then as long as this card's tapped, no more than one creature can attack, uh, you each turn. So. So it's really, really quite good, and, um, so, um... So there's uh, five of us. There's usually four, but um, we had a few extra people. Um, so, and then the girl that was next to me was playing a deck that can crank out a bunch of damage. And so she did a four damage between three people, leaving me just leaving just me and her. And so I dealt her twelve damage with my commander. Um, Another thing too is that if you deal 21 damage with your commander, they lose. And so, two turns after she did that, I did that, and uh, I won, so. I'm adding to survive the whole thing, so. But yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, and for anyone that's wondering what commander I played, uh, or at least it's the Feline for, uh, Ferocity commander deck. I just updated just a little bit, and so this is the first commander that you get, so. But yeah, um, for anybody that's wanting to get into commander, I definitely recommend that deck, because it hits hard and it hits really, really fast, so. But anyways, now for the thing that you guys probably really care about, which is the deck profile. You know, I have skull servants, so. So three, king, just staple for a skull servant build. Um... So, basically he gains 1,000 attack for each Skullshirt in the grave, and then if he's destroyed by battle, you can banish your Skullshirt and then special him back out onto a field, so. Um, Lay of Wit protects King from uh, spells and traps, and then also from being destroyed by battle. So, that's really, really quite good. And then White Mare, uh, you need your special Lay of Wit, from your banished zone, or bring back a skull shunt from your banished to the graveyard. So, which is actually pretty good. And then, white prince, or white princess. Um, so, her effect is that when, he, when she's no more um, she can send a white prince from the deck to the grave. And so you send him, and then his effect goes off. Letting you send a lay of wit from your deck to grave or hand, and then also a skull servant. The skull servant has to be has to be the null monster. It cannot be anything else. So, so yeah, there's that. And then two Mizuki, um, just very very good to help bring back your king or uh, lay of wit. So, and then the traumatic turtle. Um, just help stall for one turn, so, and then I took up, uh, this piece of the deck because I was dead drawing, uh, a bunch of it, and then when I draw the spell for it, and then it'd be too late for, uh, for anything, so, and what I'm talking about is the show line. Um, I took out this, like I was, like I was saying, um, I tested out. Saturday of last week, or no, uh, Wednesday, and I always dead draw shit alls, and then, because I played against Cosmo, and I dead drew Shadow Fusion, and I was like, well, alright, I, because I couldn't get over his, he was playing the Dark Plant Turbo, and so I couldn't get over that at all, um, so... 
So that's kind of what I ran into, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, things happen, so. Um, and then Barrel from a different dimension, just bring back your zombies that you banish with white prints. Now for the Pezuk line. Uh, Pezuk Diamondskis, he's basically a karma cut, so you discover one card, which is perfect for any of these. You can ban or you can send the Tremont Turtle, Mizuki, White Prince, which is mainly the card that you want to go for. Um, or like Skull Sharon, or like I said, Bishy. You basically want to just do White Prince or that or two, so. But you target one card on the, or one facial card, and then banish it, so. Yeah. And then, then all noids, target one's power trap, and then destroy it, so. Yeah. And then, how does your Gina, um, target one facial monster, half its attack, until end of turn, so. Yeah. And then, Then Charlie. Um, the other cool thing is that you can target your uh, skull shards that you banish with white prints, and then return this to your grave, and then get this to go off. So yeah, Marella, um, send a trap from your deck to your grave, which you mainly want to do break your skill. Um, so or not uh, or another copy of that, which are one. Uh, I only have two Cana uh, Pekaya and one Canadia, but um, I will be running three and three, so I just don't have those at, at the moment, so, but yeah. And then double Wreck of Screed for draw power, uh, break, break your skill, just good. Repair order is just busted, and then warning. And pair order... Uh, near player can after expose, and then you pay seven life points during each of your semi phases and your opponents. So, yeah, it's just really, really quite good. So, yeah, now for the extra deck three toads, um, just because it's really, really quite good. So, three Opapina. Uh, he helps you search for a Pezoic trap and add her deck to your hand. And then, uh, I forget how to pronounce his name, but yeah. So, during your player's turn, you can target a uh, card on the field and then destroy it. So, yeah, and that's during your player's turn. And then, Levier. Um, just using overlay two level threes and then special way uh banish card. So yeah. Um so it's pretty pretty cool. So but yeah, um that's pretty it for the deck phone. I'm also working on volcanics and cyber darks. Cyber darks. Um so that'll be actually a lot of fun. Um I'm actually trying out volcanics with Pez Pez Same thing with Cyber Darks. So, but yeah, um, if they, if it works, I'll try to do deck profile for the, for those three years. Um, if not, I'll try to come up with something else. So, but yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for, and yeah, I'll catch you later.